What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. What is up? What is up? How is everybody doing today? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to Oakfield Farm. We got the Massey 77 and we have a plow. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you ever want to say something? You're like, how do I say that word again? That's it. Oh, yeah. So here's what we are doing. We are in fields 9 and 10 right now. And I want to plow up kind of some of the outside edges a little bit. Just get a little bit closer to the edge. Because we are going to put grass in these. And because we are putting grass in these, I want to get as much room as possible so that we can get in here and get it fertilized. So let's turn on plowing and let's get just a little bit further out. There we go. Yeah. Now this is good. This is exactly what I wanted. It's not going to take very long. It's just I wanted to do it. I wanted to get just a little bit further out so that we could fertilize just a little bit more and get just a little bit extra whenever we come into harvest. Now we don't have a lot of grass fields, so these are going to be, well, I say our primary grass fields, but uh, yeah, no, they're primary grass fields. Another field I'm thinking about buying is field eight, which is directly in front of us. I feel like having all these grass fields right here beside each other, I feel like that's a good idea. So, swing around, there we go. Now this is pretty close right here, so I don't think we're gonna have to get very, very close at all. Well, <laughs> I say that, but look how close I've gotten on the other side. Goodness gracious. How much money do we have? 106,000? Uh, we, we might jump in there. So, those keen-eyed of you have probably noticed that my HUD is a little bit smaller than it used to be. I'm going for a smaller approach. I can still see it. Uh, again, I play on a 20-inch screen. Uh, most of you guys probably think that I play on some humongo 1,000-inch screen or something like that. Nope. No, I'm, I'm on a 20-inch screen. The reason I'm on a 20-inch screen is because I have three of them in front of me. I'm in my office. Well, I say I'm in my office. Kind of my place now, isn't it? So... We're back in field 9 now. Another field I'm thinking about buying is field 12. Uh, field 12 is not going to take a whole lot of our money away from us. And so I'm really thinking about buying field 12 and turning that into another crop field. We will exponentially, I mean exponentially, increase our growth on the farm if we can get some more land. And we've got the money to do it. Here's the thing. I have nothing else that I want to buy. We will have to buy a forage harvester later on down the road, but if we can keep ourselves from spending any of our loan that we don't have right now, by the way, if we can keep ourselves from spending any of that, we will be able to use that loan to buy our forage harvester. Now, the great thing about that is we can pay that off. and It's not going to take very long to pay that off either. So that is, uh, well, that's kind of a thing that we want to do. So I don't know if we want to buy field 8 first or if I want to buy field 12 first. I think field 12 runs about 86000 so we would have roughly $20,000 left over if we bought field 12. Now, if we were to buy field 8... I don't know how much it's going to cost, but we're going to find out here in a second because we're going to pop in here and see. Bring it around town. Oh, yeah. Now, if we do buy field eight, what we will do is we will harvest it today. And, uh, well, we'll come and fertilize it, then we'll harvest it today. How much is it? 27000 That's not bad. It's not bad at all. You know what? I think we're going to buy it just to get that little bit extra. And then we'll have our grass fields all beside each other. And there's a lot of ways in this field. What's the acreage? 1.7, it's not a whole lot. 27,000, you know what? Let's do it. We bought it, this is our field now. We will come in later on and we will kind of mow that up 
take it and then we'll come through we'll plow up the edges and we will replant grass there that way whenever we get into the season next year we have a little bit extra on the sides that is always good so we're going to continue rocking and rolling getting these edges done we'll see you guys in just a few minutes and we will go ahead and collect uh <laughs> we don't need hay but we could certainly use some extra grass so we're going to use that field as a grass getting time oh yeah let's do it baby We have got it all mowed. Now, gotta be honest with you, we couldn't be bothered with this ourselves. So we called in the Goham Co and they were able to take care of this for us. So they got these new mowers, these huge honking things. And uh, it's, uh, it's by, by Chrome and they're these big M500 mowers. They came through, I think he mowed this yard in less than like three or four minutes. It was crazy. Put it all in windrows for us and everything. So we had nothing to worry about. Literally nothing to worry about. So they came through, did all that for us. All we got to do is collect it. You guys know how awful we are at this. Slowly but surely trying to make these darn turns. Goodness gracious. What this is going to do, this is going to help us out for later on down the road and later on next year whenever we really need grass. Now, let's take a look real fast in grass. So we started with about, uh, it was about 70,000. And after two feedings, one full feeding and a half feeding, we're down to 54. Well, they're going to use more than that during the winter. I don't think we can make it to summer one until our next cutting. So this is going to be extremely beneficial to us later on down the road. I didn't want to have to do this, but it's either today or tomorrow. After that, nothing is going to grow. So we had to do it now. Right, and right now, we are trying to get this done before this rain hits. It has been calling for rain and calling for rain. Uh-oh lost a big patch we cannot afford to be losing any come on now get back in there gotcha and then we will come through like i said uh we are going to remove some of these trees there's just too many trees down here uh at the bottom of the field and lining the field there's too many <laughs> trees i know i just complain all i do is complain about trees but they are all in our way trying to get all this stuff mowed uh, all the Goham Co. did was just whine, 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 saying, these trees are in the way, these trees are in the way, we can't do this right, these trees are in the way. I was like, man, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. <laughs> oh, man, so it is kind of stinky. We were only able to get one fertilization state on here. We could have gotten a whole lot more, but it is what it is, and we had to do what we had to do. So... We're gonna finish collecting this. We're gonna see how much grass total we got. We've got 55,000 liters right now. We're gonna more than double that, which is good. And then we're gonna come up here. We are gonna get planting because we need to get some more grass in the ground. I wanna get the first growth state done before this year. Right now we are good and we can get that first growth state in, but I, we, we need to do it. We gotta get it done. So let's do it, yeah, yeah. So we have doubled it, and then we've added a little bit more. We've added about 44,000 to that. So we are well, well over a hundred, well, I guess we're gonna be over 150,000. That's a lot of grass. All right, I don't know what happened because we looked at that and it said 50, we, was there a one there that I didn't see? Because now we have 313,000 liters of grass. 
Uh, where'd the grass come from? What? There's a whole. Oh, 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 dead cow. What? I don't understand. I'm gonna go back and take a look at the recording. None of that makes sense. Urg. There's. Maybe instead of five, it was two? Oh, God, I don't know. Oh, dang it. That's where we were supposed to park. That's all right. We'll come down here and swing it around. Cool. So next thing we need to do, we need to take the plow back up there, or the ripper rather, and we need to extend out that field. Oop, there we go. And we also need to get some of those trees removed because they are in our way. I don't want to have to deal with them. So we're going to extend the new field out. Field number eight. Oh, yeah. We're going to extend that field out, and then we will get those trees down. All very easy stuff. Easy to do. You've seen me do it a thousand times. So we will see you when it is done, and it is time to start planting. And we are all done with that. So we now have three fields, two of which need to be completely, well, completely done, and another two that need, well, another one, I guess, that needs an outside. So what we're going to do is we are going to go grab the appropriate planter for each tractor. Now we've got one planter, ooh, just took his head off. We've got one planter up there that's going to be on the 77. We got the 87 here. This is getting the big boy. So this is the planter that we are going to use for the larger field. And then we are going to use the 77 for the smaller ones. That way we just kind of get everything in there and done and hooked up. There we go. Shouldn't need any more seed than that. Let's switch it over to grass. If we need any more than this, then we can come back. But I don't think we need any more than this. I think this is going to be plenty. So let's get in here. And swing through. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Boom out just a hair. You can see what we've done. We have taken away some trees. Uh, and then that will grow back in. There's a nice little view of the... We call it that creek. There we go. Sometimes you forget words and you're like... Hey, be -do, be -do, be -do, be -do. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> so, we have three fields. Those two need to be done completely. This one just the outside we are set on grass and we're moving let's do this We are all finished up here. All the fields that we needed to do, at least for grass, are done. Let's turn it off. Let's raise it up. See if we can get out of here. Oh yeah, so now we have two fields that are together. If we could plow these bushes up, we would. <laughs> you know I would. So, looks like we are all done with at least all this little stuff. All the little stuff that we needed to do today. Ah, you're probably saying, oh, DJ, that's not little stuff. You <laughs> you did a bunch. Well, yeah, we did. We did. We did a bunch. Speaking of a bunch, uh, I, I let a planter go. Where is it? Oh, it's over here. <laughs> it's to our right over here where the uh, cows are. I, I decided to kind of come out of the gate at the top and just let it go and see what happened. And it, 
it made it to the bottom didn't it yes it did so now now that we have our grass done we need to come down here and we need to go and fill up both of these planters because actually we need to kind of we need to fill up with fuel as well so we're gonna let that one fill up let's grab this grab our other planter that i decided to just swing there we go so we've got all that done i'll come in here uh, i've talked to a bunch of people and it seems that the consensus is to get rid of the 383 again i'm totally cool with that it'll get it out of our way at least but we will kind of be out of tractor for a little while so i'm still not a hundred percent on if i am going to get rid of the 383 or not i think i'm gonna hang on to it at least until oh, better close this before any of these cows get out I think I'm going to hang on to it at least until we can afford a 56. That's definitely the way we're going to go. Let's take a look at it real quick. 56. So if we get the one we want, we'll go front loader all the way, and then we'll probably stick narrows on it and just leave them on there. So that's going to cost us 100900 100, So... We could sell the 383 now and buy it. Then we would have no money. Which ain't good. It ain't good for nobody. And we can't have that. So let's go ahead and get all this filled up. There we go. Fertilizer full. Wrong way. Come over here. Get some grass. Or not grass. Get some seed. And we're going to be running back and forth. We're going to fill both these tractors up. We've got a bunch more fields that we need to plant. Also, I think we could probably get rid of one of our one of our harvesters. I'm debating on it. Uh, the the little Massey. We don't need it anymore. It's uh, <laughs> the only reason I was keeping it was so that we could get the fields at the top. Well, guess what? Those fields are done. We've, <laughs> they're grass now. We don't need those anymore. So I think what I'm gonna do is I think that we are going to sell that other harvester. And in doing so, we will get money. We will actually make quite a bit of money but I'm not going to use that money for what you think. I think we're gonna buy a forage harvester. That way we can do chaff. We can get a lot of chaff. And I think, as far as forage, forage harvesters go, I'm still back and forth between this crone and this crone. The only thing that's stopping me is that extra $150,000. <laughs> it's a whole lot of extra money. If we can afford it, we will get it. But if we can't afford it, I think we're just going to go with the big X uh, 580 and call it a day. I think it'll be perfectly fine. It's still going to do everything that we want it to do. Ah, wrong way again. Dang. It's still going to do everything we want it to do. It's just going to take a little bit longer. Instead of having, what, a 11 meter header, 12 meter header? Where is it at? Instead of having a 10.5, we'll have a 6. So, the only thing that would be cool is if we could take this header and stick it on the other one. It's going to be a little heavy. I wonder if it would work, though. Save us a whole lot of money. few last bits of pieces. So, we need to figure out what crops are going to go where. We... Uh, do we need straw? Mmm... We could use some. We got 259,000 liters of it, but we could have a million liters. Let's go in here. Let's see what fields we own and what we can do with them. So really, we only have three crop fields. If you think about it, we have 13, we have 15, and we have 34. Not a whole lot of room to do much of nothing, but you know what? That's okay. We'll deal with it when we can deal with it. So, I think 
that because we got so much straw last year that I don't think we need to do as much this year. So here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking that we do straw on either 13 or 15, either one, or, or weed or barley, either way. And then we do canola on the other two. So we could either do it on 13, 15, and then... Oh, goodness. Yeah, my brain's frying up already. So <laughs> I think because we can get the straightest lines, I think we should do... Yep. Yeah, let's do wheat on 15 or barley. Figure that out. And then let's do canola on 13 and 34. That's going to be the way we do it. That's going to be what we do. So we got one more stop to make before we start planting. We need to make a little bit of money. So we are heading over to the store now. As you can see, we are in the 383. Ha! Did a rhyme there. I have decided we are going to go ahead and buy a new tractor for the animals. We are going to buy the 56. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, look who it is. If it isn't our good buddy being sold. Oh yeah, we're gonna sell the little Massey. We have no need for it anymore. We can handle everything else with one harvester because it's got a 40 foot freaking matter on it. God. All right, let's get that sold. Oh, repair. Oh, we're not getting a lot of money for that. Oh, well, we'll sell it anyway. And let's sell that. And this poor thing. We did get all the attachments. I did buy a weight for this. We're going to sell the weight as well because we're going to buy a new weight. We're going to buy a heavier weight. That way we can handle more. Man, this is a good looking tractor though, isn't it? Oh, I love the way this thing looks. Say goodbye one more time. Click. And it's gone. <laughs> sell the weight. Sell the front loader. Repair the tractor and sell it for 28000 and sell the bucket. Now, let's spend some of this money. If we wanted to right now, we could buy... Well, I'm not going to even say it because we're not going to do it. Front loader, yes. 130 horsepower engine, yes. I said I was going to go na narrows. Let's go... Uh, let's stick with standards for now. Buy. And let's get us a front loader. We're going to get the FZ30 for this one. Purchase, yes, please. Thank you. And we are going to go for the big manure fork. 3,000 liters. Front loader, yes, I believe. Right? Yeah. Dill handed front loader. Yep, that is it. Purchase. All right. We're down a little bit of money. That's okay. We need a weight as well. Let's see. One of these we can paint. Oh, that's the Agco's, isn't it? Yeah. Um, how heavy do we want to go with these things? We could go with a 2,500. We got the 1,200 there that we had. 2,400. 16. Ugh. I'm not sure. Let's do a little bit of math real quick. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. Fun stuff. So, this whole 3,000 liters. What we were using was this, the universal bucket for 1,800 liters, and we were using a 1,200 pound weight. So, with that thing, so we were using something that was two-thirds the weight, so we're now holding 3,000, so we need a 2,000 uh, 2, kilogram weight. So, what's the closest we can get to 2,000? The closest we can get is 2300 with this Agco. Perfectly fine with me. Let's go black just to make it look good. Yeah. Now, check out. Doesn't really look black, does it? Oh, well. It's all right. Check it out. Let's grab this. Let's put the front loader on it. Man, I got to tell you, I'm kind of excited about having a new tractor on the farm. And not only that, but one that can handle what we're doing. There we go. Front is on. Rake is on. 
and cheeky little weight so that we can handle everything. There we go. Yeah. That's a good looking machine right there. A good looking machine. It's post up kind of like that. Maybe like this. No, definitely like that. Post up. Let's take a nice cheeky picture. Oh yeah, she looks good. Let's get even, let's even get closer. Let's get about like right now. It's hard to take pictures, dang it. <laughs> there we go. Well guys, that is gonna be where we leave you today. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please drop a like. If you're not already, please subscribe. If you guys have any questions, let me know down in the comment section. If you got any ideas, feel free to let me know. Otherwise, I hope you guys have a great day. And we will see you later. Peace.